Glasses versus contact lenses. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of each, such as comfort, cost, vision, so you can know which one might be best for you. Let's focus in. Now first, let's go over the comfort issue. Now generally speaking, contact lenses, especially soft contact lenses, can be really comfortable to wear, but there are people that tend to have dry eye issues or allergies where it can be difficult to wear contact lenses. Now remember, contact lenses tend to amplify what you already have going on. If you already have dry eyes or allergies, contact lenses tend to bump that up a notch. Now you can minimize the irritation issues by treating your dry eye symptoms or your allergies or by switching to daily lenses. They tend to be thinner and more comfortable to wear or there are specialty contacts like scleral lenses that can be worn for people that have dry eyes. And so there are things that you can do and options in the contact lens world that can make it more comfortable. But if you are someone that does suffer with some of those issues, then generally speaking, glasses will be more comfortable. Your eyes won't have to fight anything extra in your eyes that are fighting for the tears or causing more allergy issues. Now there is a little bit of a challenge finding a comfortable frame, something that can actually sit and rest on your nose, rest on your ears, it's not gonna pinch your head, or finding a light enough frame and lenses to make it comfortable and not too heavy. So there is that challenge to think of when you're picking out glasses. Now when we're talking about sports and comfort, which one's best to wear there? Definitely soft contact lenses have an edge up you don't have to deal with wearing glasses and running around and flinging around and jumping or somebody hitting your glasses and breaking them or they fall off. Soft contact lenses are in there. You can be really active, move really fast and not have to worry about glasses or anything breaking on your face. That being said, glasses tend to give you better protection, especially if you get goggle type sport glasses that can wrap around and protect your eyes from any impact or blunt force trauma or anything like that. So that is something to consider. And in general, glasses do have an added protection to the eyes. So there are some patients that have a really good seeing eye and then one poor functioning or lazy, bad seeing eye. And so we tend to lean towards giving that patient glasses as an added protection because if something happens to that good seeing eye, they're left with that bad seeing eye, which can put them in a bad place. Now the cost, this can range all over the map with contacts or with glasses. There are premium daily contact lenses out there that can be very comfortable to wear, can work for many people that can't wear any other contact lenses, but can be very expensive. There are also specialty contact lenses like scleral lenses for people that might have corneal issues like keratoconus that can also be really expensive to get, but that might be their only option to give them adequate vision. And so the price of contacts can range and can go up pretty high. Now on the flip side, there are contact lenses that can be very, very cheap. There are contacts out there that are made from old technology from the 1970s, 1980s that may not be the safest for the eyes, but are still available and still produced, so you can still get these contact lenses. Now, a lot of eye doctors are fitting their patients in contacts that will be the safest for their eyes, but there are still contacts out there that are available, especially when you're talking about colored contact lenses or generic daily contact lenses that you can get online. Their old technology might not be the safest, but can be really cheap. And the exact same thing can be said about glasses. The cost of glasses can range wildly. You can get designer frames with the best type of lenses, transitions, anti-reflective coating, blue light protection, and it can go upwards into the thousands of dollars depending on what type of frames and lenses that you wanna get. On the flip side, you can also get very, very generic lenses, non-designer frames, glasses that you could get online or kind of the bargain bin that you can get at your eye doctor's office. Now, which one lasts longer? Generally speaking, glasses can last longer if you take good care of them. I just saw a patient that came in wearing 30 year old glasses and lenses and they actually didn't look that bad. It actually kind of surprised me. So yeah, you can definitely stretch out glasses a long time if you take care of them. Now with contact lenses, they can vary. Typically soft contact lenses, there are at a monthly replacement schedule or two week or a daily replacement. So you just wear the contact lens one day and replace it the next day. There are some soft contacts that you can wear longer. There are also hard contact lenses that last longer. And some patients, if they take care of them and their vision doesn't change, they can actually stretch those hard contact lenses out one, two, three years, sometimes longer. 
Now let's get into the big topic, vision. This is where a lot of people have questions, which one will they be able to see better with? Now in general, glasses will give you the best, clearest vision. That's if you're keeping the lenses clean, if they're properly fit to your face, and if they're up to date. Glasses can be more fine-tuned and made exactly to your prescription, especially when we're talking about astigmatism. Now there are contact lenses that can correct your astigmatism in your eyes, but with glasses, you can correct the astigmatism down to the degree, down to the quarter of the exact amount of astigmatism that might be in your eyes. And so the customization of lenses to your prescription far outweighs what can be customized in the contact lenses. People that tend to have a reading prescription, they need bifocals or progressives, tend to see better with glasses. Now they do make multifocal or monovision contact lenses. They work great, but typically vision and clarity of vision does work better by using progressive lenses or bifocal lenses in glasses. The customization of the lenses you can get in your glasses is actually kind of mind blowing depending on what your needs are. There are different types of progressive lenses depending on where you need your best vision, distance, intermediate, near vision. You can get transition lenses. You can actually put prism in glasses if you deal with double vision or eye strain when reading or working on the computer. Prism will help redirect the light through the lens lenses so it can reduce the eye strain, reduce the double vision in your eyes. And that's something that you can't have done or get in contact lenses. So with that alone, the customization that you can get in frames, you can get frames that are crazy wild looking if you want down to the basic normal frames. You can get lenses that can pretty much do whatever you want as well. That really does make glasses shine as far as the possibility of your vision. Now that being said, there are limitations to the glasses and downsides that we need to go over. One obvious one is the range and the peripheral vision when looking through glasses. Obviously you can see the frame and the outline of the frame and outside the frame it won't be corrected so you'll have blurry peripheral vision where the center is clear. So that's one thing to consider is this is something you will have to get used to looking and seeing this frame. Another one, especially when you get into higher prescriptions, is on the outside of the edges in the periphery, you will get weird movement and distortion. And that is something to consider when you're wearing the glasses and you have a higher prescription when you move around, you might notice distortion and weird movement. It might make you sick or give you headaches. Or if you look through the edges of your glasses, you'll notice that the vision might not be as clear as when you're looking through the center of the lenses. Another thing, depending on the severity of your prescription, you could get a minimizing or magnifying effect where things in the lenses in your vision will look smaller or they'll look much bigger depending on what lenses you need to correct and clear your vision. And on the same side, when you're wearing the glasses, if you see something in your peripheral vision and it pops into your lenses, sometimes you'll have a pop in effect where things will kind of pop in because of that minimizing or magnifying effect, or sometimes things will look bigger out here and smaller in here. And so that's something to consider as well. You will have these size differences when looking through the glasses. Now, the reason why you get these distortions and peripheral blur and minifying and magnifying effects is because the glasses aren't sitting right on your eyes. There's a little bit of gap between your eyes and the glasses. And so this is where contact lenses can shine because the contacts are sitting right on the eyes. You won't have this minifying or magnifying effect. You have a full field corrected vision. You won't have these peripheral vision issues like you will with glasses. Now I do have to say there are patients with certain corneal irregularities like keratoconus or marginal pellucid degeneration where their corneas aren't normal shaped, or if they have really high prescriptions like high astigmatism, they tend to see better and do better in contact lenses, specialty contact lenses like hard contact lenses or scleral lenses. So depending on the patient and what their prescription is and what the condition is, sometimes contact lenses can actually shine and give them much far superior vision compared to glasses. Now in most cases, most doctors will recommend having a pair of glasses even if you wear contact lenses because obviously there will be times that you won't be wearing the contact lenses and will still need to see. So it's nice to have a pair of glasses in either case. Now, if you're considering contact lenses and you're new to contact lenses, definitely check out my playlist, a beginner's guide to contact lenses, how to put them in, take them out, clean them, so you will have the best tools possible to be successful in your contact lenses. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.